Little Women. This is a story from a recent past. The story of four sisters, Meg, Joe, Beth, and Amy. They lived in a small village in a small house. Their parents were poor, but the four sisters had never demanded anything that their parents could not fulfill. Meg was young and beautiful and very wise. Joe was like a tomboy, and she wanted to become a writer. Beth was shy, gentle, and kind, and Amy was the youngest one. She was the prettiest of all the sisters. All of them had a very strong bond amongst themselves. All the villagers used to admire their wise behavior and used to call them little women. One day, a soldier came to their house to take their father to the army, as it was civil war going on. I have a letter for you. You've been called to serve for the army to fight against the civil war. Please get ready. The family was very sad. Oh, oh, Daddy! Please don't go. No, my children, I have to go. It's a proud thing to fight for your country. When will you be back? I'll be back before the rains. Stop crying now, Meg. Take care of them. Yes, Father. Saying this, their father left with the soldier. Few days after he left for the war, the family started suffering. They didn't have enough money to purchase the groceries. Meg, I'm trying to work hard so that I can earn enough money, but I'm finding it difficult. Don't worry, Mother. It's just a matter of few days. Everything will be all right when Father comes back. But till then, we'll have to fight. I don't understand why people make wars. Oh, Mother. One day, they received a letter from the army office saying, "What is it, Meg?" The officials have informed that father had been badly injured during the war. They've hospitalized him and want someone to be with him to take care of him. Oh, I'll have to go there, but how can I? I need money to travel. How can we arrange it? Don't worry, mother. You start preparing for the journey. I'll make some arrangements. Joe left the house. When she returned in the evening, she had money in her hands. Take this, mother. I guess this will be sufficient. From where did you get this money? I sold my hair and earned this. Oh, Joe, you lost your beautiful hair. Never mind, mother. But Joe, we could have thought of some other option. Why did you have to? Don't worry. They will grow again. <laughs> oh. Joe couldn't sleep that night. She was crying silently in her bed. Late at night, Meg put her arm on Joe's shoulder. Joe woke up to see who it was. When she saw Meg sitting beside her, she hugged Meg. Don't worry, everything will be all right soon. After their mother left for the hospital, the sisters take care of the house. They were doing everything in the house. Cleaning, cooking, and enjoying their time. <laughs> <laughs> One day, Beth fell ill. She had a high fever, and she was shivering with cold. All the three sisters took good care of Beth, but the fever was persistent. All of them were worried. We should call the doctor. What about the fees? How will we pay the doctor's fee? We don't have any money. I've a few cents saved. They won't be enough. Let it be. I'll be okay soon. I'll get the doctor. And his fees? Let's think about Beth's treatment first. It was snowing that day. Joe still rushed through it and reached the doctor's house. She explained him the situation. Doctor agreed to visit their home. I've examined her. She has scaldic fever. Don't worry, she will be all right. Oh, that's good, Doctor Uncle. But but what? Sir, actually. Speak up. Why are you so hesitant? Sir, we don't have any money to pay you. 
We're sorry. Will you still treat Beth? Is that so? There is nothing to worry about. I'll definitely treat her. That's my duty. And I'll collect my fees from your parents when they will return. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you so, so much, much doctor. doctor. The doctor gave some medicines to Beth. The sisters took good care of Beth. Beth was getting a little better and started missing her mother. <laughs> I miss you, mother. Where are you? Please come home. I need you. Please come home. Beth, please don't cry. She will be back soon. You get well and we'll write a letter to her. Yes, yes, she will come home soon. At the same moment, their mother entered the house. All of them were too happy to see her. Oh, mother! Mummy! Mom! Oh, my children! How are you? I'm so glad to see you. Beth, too, was very happy to see her mother. Don't worry, dear. I'll take care of you now. Then onwards, mother took good care of Beth. Beth got better in a few days. As winter arrived, Meg was a little worried about the family. Mother, when is father coming home? He had a severe injury. He had also broken one of his legs. But now he is out of danger and he can be here any time. We miss him so much. I know, dear. I wish nobody faces such hardships in life. Don't say that, mother. These hard times are the best teachers. They teach us things which are useful to be successful in the life. You're right, Meg. A few days later, it was Christmas Eve. Mother and Meg somehow managed to get a Christmas tree for their house. But little Amy wanted a gift too. I want a new dress from Santa Claus this year. I wish I find the prince of my dreams. I want a big piano. What do you wish for, Meg? I wish we could all celebrate this Christmas together. Well said, dear. On the day of Christmas, all of them were sad as none of their wishes came true. They were disappointed but didn't complain about it. The day was so unfortunate that they didn't have enough money to buy their breakfast. Just then, they heard a knock at the door. Who could it be? Who is it? Who is it? I'll check who it is. No, Amy. Wait, the door swung away with air and she saw her father standing at the door. All the girls rushed to him. Father! 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 Oh, my babies, how I missed you. This is the best Christmas present we've ever received. Thank, Thank you, Santa. Santa! Having their father with them for Christmas, the family was overjoyed and enjoyed their Christmas. <laughs>